Welcome to Healthy Cooking 101 with the sisters. My name is Nicole. My name is Sharon. And here we make healthy, simple and yummy treats for everyone in the family. Um, but before we get right into it, Sharon, please, can you pray for us before we begin? Yes. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. And even now as we prepare this meal, I pray that you may be with us and that it may nourish us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for that. Um, today we will be making crepes. And before we begin, I'd like to just give a disclaimer on what crepes are, if there are any of us who are confused. Mm -hmm. Crepes are very thin pancakes. Not really pancakes, they're crepes, but they're thin. They're not the same as pancakes. Pancakes are thicker. fleshier, thicker, mm -hmm. yes. Um, and crepes, um, when you're making them, the butter is lighter in consistency than pancakes because we use more liquid compared to when we're making pancakes. Yeah. So the ingredients we have for today, mm -hmm. um, I have my able helper here who will help me with them. Um, we'll be putting all our ingredients in a blender and to begin we'll start with the wet ingredients mm -hmm. so that is um we have milk here and also nicole why do we start with the wet instead of the dry tell me well we start with the wet just so that the dry doesn't stick at the bottom of the blender yes. yeah because yes. if you put in the flour first it gets stuck and then it will become lumpy it won't be as creamy and as flowy as it should be yes yeah thank you so we'll start with the wet and this is one two and a third cup of milk and we're using soy milk and just a disclaimer these are not the cups that we have lying around in the house these are the standard size cups that you buy specifically for baking so Sharon has poured in two and a third cups of soy milk you can use any milk of prep of your preference then next we'll go to oil we're using a third cup and here we have sunflower oil just like I said, whatever oil you use at home and you're comfortable with using, use that. Um, and after that, she'll put in vanilla. I have one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then now we can move to the dry ingredients. And we'll start with the sugar. This is three tablespoons of sugar. Um, and then after that, she'll add in the salt. This is one teaspoon of salt. And I know salt seems like an off. Um, ingredient when you're uh, making something sweet but salt is a balancer mm -hmm. in the bible we're told we should be the salt of the earth mm -hmm. and that means that we bring flavor and we make everything make sense salt does that even in yeah. meals and i think god 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 was wise of course in using that um, comparison mm -hmm. um, and our next ingredient is baking powder which we have used three quarter of a teaspoon and as i said before use the standard sized um, measure measurements so the teaspoon that is bought in the supermarket for baking not the one we have in the house for stirring our tea so the last ingredient is flour and we'll put in two and sorry one and a half cups of flour one and a half cups of flour so you put everything of yours in the blender like so Blend all your ingredients until you have a smooth and even consistency. If you have a spatula on hand, it would be easy to just keep scraping the sides just in case you see that it's starting to lump up. You can stop the blender, scrape the sides and then continue. So I will scrape the sides just a little bit just for the flour that got stuck. Um, I just let Sharon show you how it's a very light consistency and this is not ideal for making it when the crepes will either stick or they won't turn properly so to thicken the butter we usually put it in the fridge to set for about 30 minutes at least 30 minutes and you can do it up to even two days so you can make the butter ahead of time and every time you need to make something for make the crepes for breakfast you just pull it out of the fridge and you 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 cook you make them so we had already um, put some in the fridge ahead of time and that's what I have here so I'll just put on the fire and I'll add just a little drops of oil onto my pan just to get it 
I don't know, ready for the first pancake. If you remember well, one of our ingredients was oil. So you don't really need to use oil every single time you put your crepe. Mm -hmm. I'll just put for this first one and just spread it around. And hopefully it comes out well because you know sometimes the first the first thing of anything always it's all it's always outside, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're a gourmet chef. I think even they have their own bloopers, but they <laughs> probably don't share them. Okay. So just put one scoop and spray it around. Make it into a nice thin. thin layer because as I mentioned crepes are usually very thin and um, the ways you can know that it's ready is one the top of the crepe is going to turn matte it's not going to be glossy anymore meaning it won't be wet and two you can also check by looking at the surface some places will start to brown and that's when you'll know it's ready to flip Sharon um, as we wait for this to flip uh, where, where did you have your first crepe is this something you made or you ate it at a restaurant? I didn't think they could be homemade for some reason. Yeah. I just thought they were only in restaurants because I'd probably eat them when I'd go to a hotel maybe because mm -hmm. I used to see them being done in hotels for breakfast. Yeah. Um, but yeah, my first one at home, you introduced me to it. Okay, yeah. yeah. And so you know sometimes some meals usually look so hard when you eat them outside but they're very, very simple and easy to make at home. So I think our crepe is ready to be flipped. Oh, wow. look at that nice golden brown color. Looks good. Yeah, looks yummy. So as Nicole said, you can use any uh, flour of your choice. You can use spelt, you can use gluten-free, you can use brown bread flour, you can use regular brown atta flour. Um, but just note that if you use gluten-free, you may need to do a little bit more um, flour, flour yeah. and also maybe add a bit more, maybe xanthan gum or just something that is a binder. To bind it, yeah. yes. Or a flax egg. Oh yes, flax yes. egg or a chia egg. Yeah. Okay, I think it's ready. Maybe one more minute. It doesn't take too long to get ready mm. because they're quite thin, thin yes. You can actually also freeze them as well. Maybe do, for people who do weekly meal preps, you can freeze them and just keep taking them out for whenever you need to. One more time. Put a nice big scoop in and swirl it around. I found this is the best method for me because I know some people have other methods of spreading the butter around. That is either swirling the pan physically or mm. any other way but i find this is the best for me because i have more control mm. over how even the the crepe is in, in thickness all over mm. i tried the one for swirling the pan around but i found that the crepe doesn't come out as round as uh, i would like it the shape is also yeah, compromised. The shape is a bit compromised but yes. if you're a coolie shape you can go right <laughs> ahead and yes. swirl the pan yes Definitely. You don't have to use a spoon like that. You can even use just a flat spoon. Just something yes. to help you spread it around. Yeah, that's definitely true. Just check on it. You know, we always eat with our eyes first. So make sure you're getting the perfect color mm. for these crepes. Because, you know, if you have them too dark, someone is always going to think that they are burnt, even if they aren't. So color, food is more than just what we put in our mouth. It's how it looks, how it smells. When all the senses are excited, you know that's a good meal. Also texture as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, I think this one is ready to be flipped. As you can see, it's matte, and I don't know if it's visible, but there is some kind of um, browning mm. on this side that's indicating that it's ready to be flipped. Also, as you keep uh, preparing the crepes, I think the heat gets a bit more with yes, time. Yes, yes. So you may need to reduce the heat as you keep going ahead. Yes, just regulate yeah. it um, yeah. as, so you, as don't you have see some, fit. Mm, that look burnt. Mm. 
didn't tell me where did you have your first cred? Where did I have my first cred? So um, by the time I realized that crepes were a thing, <laughs> yes, that were not pancakes. Yes, I had already become vegan. So I was. It was very hard for me to find um, a place to have them in Kenya that did not have um, that fit my dietary needs. That mm. was plant based. So I looked for a recipe online and I challenged myself to make one. And voila, that's 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 how I managed to have my first crepe. I'll just do one more and then one for each of us and yeah. an extra to share, right? Yes. <laughs> and I just like to point out um, with our other butter, you saw how light it was, and you can see how it thickens in mm. the fridge. It actually thickens and it's better to use. If we were to use that one, um, I think it would actually backfire because it's actually really light. Yeah. As you can see, now that my pan is hot, they are cooking at a faster rate. So I just reduce my heat just a little bit so that it doesn't get burnt. Remember we talked about having the color looking just right. Yeah. And it's good to have a pan in your house, that one pan that you know distributes heat well because you know sometimes you can use one and then one side of the crepe is brown and the other side is still really really light or white. But when you have it one even consistent um, color, mm -hmm. just adds to the experience of having <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just really waiting for you to be done so that I can I can taste. Um, there's some that are ready, so you can actually do a taste test. Maybe you might be making things that even <laughs> we ourselves can eat. So Sharon, please give do me the honor. Also, before to you start to cook, I would really advise you to pray <laughs> because all these things are man-made and. Um, they can just backfire on you and you may not have a good experience so just commit it to god and uh, enjoy it like i'm about to i hope we're not sharing this one no no okay. no it's, it's all yours <laughs> It's good, right? Yes. And that wraps up this um, session of cooking crepes. Thank you so much for joining us and God bless you. Bye-bye.